um, you couldn't start, so you need to take out the graphic cards. It's a black screen, you can't see anything at all. So I'm going to show you how to do that. To so, uh, restore back the uh, Brit uh, M17 XR3. Okay, so the first step is you need to copy one of the uh, bio file. This is the name PAR, this one. You copy it and you paste into the empty USB drive. Make sure it's a FAT32 drive. And you have to rename the file. Uh, I have no idea why, but this, uh, this is the original file name. And you have to change to this file name. Just copy it and right click and rename that and save this is how you need to prepare for your USB drive now so you need to remove the battery behind the latch remove these two screw which I have already taken out slide down like this and then take off the chase back chases okay so the step here is that you need to remove this fan with this one, two, and three screw, which I have already taken out. This one you plug, okay? Okay, so now you need to remove this is the graphic card. So how are we going to do that? We need to remove these two screw. This is the first and the second. So I'm going to take out the screw. So here's the tricky part. Uh, the tricky part is that you need to use um, this type of screwdriver, the flat one. To take it out easily, the trick is just to do it like this and pull it up. And you need to remove uh, the, you try to softly. There's uh, one thing of the, this, uh, some sort of sticker here on the on the back side here so you need to remove this out careful okay so this is your graphic card okay this I have taken out before just leave it step is you just leave this card uh, put it aside and just connect prepare the power cable USB driver you need to connect to this port eSATA port is the connect uh, is part of the USB inside here is the uh, bio flash the file that I'm intend to flash it so how are we going to do that so you press the end button here hold it and connect this power and the fan will kick in this is the beginning of the just wait and wait while it flash by itself just wait it will reboot several times until it shut down by itself this is the sound of flashing um, the flash or uh, the BIOS the new BIOS that we are going to uh, blind flash it because you can't see on the screen just wait
Okay. Supposedly, um, you see, it will shut down by itself and it will reboot several times, about like two or three times. Or perhaps it's like that, it's been, com it's been completed. So, okay, it should work soon. I think you can remove the uh, USB drive, but let's wait first. Install back the graphic card. Just put what it is, where it is. So you have to carefully here push here a bit, and it, there's a clip here, so you, you can hear a clip sound. What is in uh, like that? So make sure the sticker behind that is connected as well. screws so at the same time we can uh, clean up the fan you know. okay. Okay. now after you boot your system without the graphic card there will be a 8 beep sound but there will be a backlight Okay, that's been successful. So now install back your graphic cards and witness. Now, yeah, this is the bad line. Now it appears now. So this is worked. Thank you.